Hello and uh, welcome to this new video tutorial uh, for the Magento 2 Multi Vendor Marketplace Cash on Delivery plugin. And in today's video tutorial, we'll be showing you how this particular plugin allows the marketplace sellers to add cash on delivery feature to their products and uh, how the sellers can manage the orders and then provide the commission to the marketplace admin from their end. Apart from that, the uh, buyers can purchase the seller's products using the cash on delivery payment gateway and the vendors can manage all of the cash on delivery process from uh, their end under their own account panel and apart from that, the admin can also um, uh, basically, uh, he'll also be able to see the seller's cash and delivery reports there. So uh, this particular plugin is an add-on to the Magento 2 multi vendor Marketplace uh, plugin by Webcool. So you'll have to have that particular plugin before making use of the Marketplace cash and delivery uh, plugin here. So uh, right now you can see that I'm at the Magento 2 multi vendor Marketplace uh, web store front end on the product page. And on the product page here, you can see that we have the section that's the check cash and delivery availability at. So uh, the customers can enter their zip code to check uh, the uh, availability of the cash on delivery uh, for the particular product there. So uh, let's get ahead and let's see how this particular thing works. So I'll be taking you through the customer flow and then we'll check the seller end and lastly the admins. So uh, for now, let's uh, uh, check out uh, how the customers can uh, check the cash on delivery for the entered zip code. So here I'll be entering one zip code and I'll tap here on the check button. So you can see that the uh, cash on delivery is delivered at the uh, zip code that is 94538. And if the uh, customer wants, he can also change uh, the zip code there. So if I enter it 19005 and I, if I tap here on the check button, so if uh, the cash and delivery is not available for the entered zip code, then COD is not available at this would be displayed to the customer. Now uh, let's uh, tap here again and let me enter uh, another zip code that's 90001 and let's check uh, the availability for this one. So on this zip code, this particular product is available for cash and delivery there. Now. Kindly note that this particular uh, plugin, uh, that's the cash and delivery uh, for the multi vendor Marketplace uh, web store, supports the simple, grouped and configurable products and uh, the configurable as well as the grouped product zip code cash and delivery validation would be done on the cart page itself and not on the product page. So uh, the configurable and the grouped product uh, validations can only be done within the cart itself and uh, uh, the cash on delivery rate uh, added by the vendors on the storefront will not display in the admins end and uh, at uh, the product and the cart page only zip codes would be uh, will be checked uh, there so basically the zip codes are being checked on the product and the cart pages uh, there so for the rest of the products, uh, we can check the uh, availability of the COD for the product on the product page itself. But for the configurable and group products, uh, we need to go to the uh, view and uh, what we say as uh, we need to go to the cart page uh, to check the availability there. So uh, now uh, let's get ahead and let's place an order uh, for this. So now let me uh, proceed further and let's place the order for this particular uh, product. So uh, let me tap you on the proceed to checkout button. And now I'll be uh, selecting uh, the shipping method here. And then we'll be just tapping you on the next button. And here on the payment page, uh, you can see that we have the Webcool Marketplace Cash and Delivery Payment Method that can be used here. And uh, here you can see the uh, shipping that we had selected. And uh, uh, here we have the details of the uh, order itself. Now let's choose the Webpool Marketplace Cash and Delivery Payment Method and here you can see that we'll be charged an extra fee of uh, $10 on this particular order. So let's tap here on the Place Order button. Alright, the order has been placed. Let's check the order details by navigating to the order itself. And uh, here we have the order details. That's the order 575. 
and here we have the uh, cash and delivery that's ten dollars applicable to this uh, particular uh, product so now the customers can make the payment for the product at the time of uh, delivery of the product itself now uh, sometimes it happens that uh, the uh, customer adds one product into the cart uh, that is having the cash on delivery and uh, there's one more product that but that is not having the cash on delivery uh, available uh, then uh, what happens is that uh, then the customers would not be able to proceed to the checkout with uh, those uh, products so the uh, customer needs to remove the product that's not having the cash and delivery on it and uh, uh, let me show you that so here you can see that one product is having the cash and delivery and the other one is not having uh, the uh, cash and delivery so this one has the cash and delivery and this shows that cash and delivery is not available on this uh, particular uh, product that we have and now if I have a configurable product like this one that has the color options to choose from so if I add this particular product uh, to the cart then uh, you can see that uh, on the uh, product page we are not able to see that particular uh, cash and delivery uh, section but within the cart itself we can see it, the option here and it says that cash and delivery is not available so that's how the uh, uh, how, uh, how that's how uh, we can check it uh, check the cash and delivery for a particular product uh, that's like configurable product uh, within the cart itself and this is how the two products uh, are within the uh, shopping cart one is a configurable one another is a simple product or uh, be it uh, both of them if they are even uh, simple ones but one has the cash and delivery and the other one is not having the cash and delivery so the customer cannot proceed further to place the order there I cannot uh, go to the checkout so he'll have to remove one of the products that's uh, not having the cash and delivery and uh, thereafter only he'll be able to uh, proceed to checkout and can place the order there so what that means is that basically the uh, marketplace cash and delivery uh, payment method would then not be available for use uh, within this particular order that has one product that is having the cod and the other one that is not having the cod now also uh, if he, uh, if a user comes up and he doesn't enter his uh, zip code then uh, the customer will see please enter zip code to check the cod availability then the customer can enter his uh, zip code here and uh, after that uh, the required uh, thing would be populated whether or not uh, the cod is available on these products or not so we'll just see that in a second okay cash and delivery not available for this one it's available and now let's uh, proceed to check out let's see what happens there so just tap on the proceed to check out so here we are having these two products and let me go ahead and uh, let me choose the shipping and now i'll just tap you on the next button now because one product is having the cod and the other one is not having the cod so the marketplace CO cash and delivery payment method would now not be available here uh, for the customer to use so as to place the order uh, there now let's hop on to the uh, vendor end and let's see how the uh, marketplace vendors would be able to manage cash and delivery orders so for that i'll just log into my vendor account so first let me go to my account section and here on the left hand side under the marketplace uh, block here we'll be having uh, our marketplace cash and delivery so let me scroll down a bit so here we are having marketplace cash and delivery and from here the vendors would be able to manage the cash and delivery rates uh, manage the cash and delivery orders and manage the cash and delivery products so let's go through each of them one by one i'll just open them in three different windows so the very first one that we have is manage uh, cash and delivery rates so here uh, the vendors can manage the new uh, uh, cash and delivery rate and uh, they can upload uh, the COD rates in bulk as well and uh, for that they can download the uh, sample file that uh, we have provided here and then they just need to choose that file and then up tap here on the upload rates to upload the new rate uh, apart from that uh, the vendor can also add a new cash and delivery rate uh, manually one by one by uh, first entering the uh, destination country uh, the destination uh, state region 
the zip code type whether it's a range or it's a specific one if you choose specific then we need to set up the exact zip code uh, the uh, price type whether the uh, price type is a fixed one or a percentage for the COD and then you need to enter your fixed price the weight from and the weight, uh, weight to uh, values and uh, thereafter you just need to tap here in the add new uh, COD rate and that rate would be then listed here within this particular table you can edit delete uh, any of the uh, created ones let's tap here in the edit and check the details of this uh, one that's for the United States uh, that has a range there so destination country United States so you can asterisk for all uh, of the uh, destination state or the region so you can choose uh, all right let me go back sorry for that and uh, so uh, here you can see that uh, we have the range selected so we have set the zip code from and zip code to values we have chosen the uh, price type for the COD there uh, or the additional price that is there so we've chosen it as fixed that would be ten dollars and the weight uh, is from one to thousand there itself so uh, you can also update a uh, COD rate here and now let's go back to our uh, marketplace cash and delivery uh, rates once again so that's how we can add the money uh, add the COD rates here uh, using the zip code as the range we can go for the specific one as well as well as I've already told you now uh, for the uh, upload uh, the COD rates in bulk you just need to download the sample file first so let me download it and then we need to upload it once again after entering the details there uh, for the destination country destination state region zip post type zip post code range price type fixed price percentage weight range there so uh, I'll open that file up for you but before that let me tap in the choose file and let me upload this uh, COD rates in bulk and uh, with that I'll just go to downloads and uh, COD rates the file has been uploaded and uh, let me tap here in the update uh, all right I'll just have to choose it once again so it's the COD rates upload rates and that uploads the rates uh, there itself so now coming to the other section that's the uh, section here uh, that's the marketplace cash and delivery orders so here the uh, vendor would be able to see his specific orders that have been placed using the COD so here's the order 575 that we had placed so from here we can view the order details as well so here we have the uh, order details and from here the vendor can uh, generate the invoice send email to the customer uh, cancel the order or he can ship the product as well and print the details itself and here uh, uh, all right and here the uh, when you can see the uh, payment method chosen uh, for this order that's the webcool marketplace cash and delivery payment method now let me uh, generate the invoice and uh, then we'll be generating the other details as well Now after generating the invoice here you can see that now uh, we have the pay admin commission option here and uh, now the windows would be able to pay the admin for his commission for this particular order by tapping here on the pay admin commission and uh, if you pay the admin commission then you cannot do a refund for the buyer in future and uh, so you need to just uh, check that on your end first and thereafter only you can just tap here on the uh, pay admin commission or on the OK on the prompt there and you can see that the payment has successfully done for the admin and now that particular button is not uh, visible here and now the uh, vendor can also make a shipment uh, there and uh, here you can see the total cash and delivery charges that have been applied here and if I go to the invoice of this particular order he as well will be able to see the selected uh, payment method that's the webcool marketplace cash on delivery payment method 
and here are the okay and here are the total cash and delivery charges applicable on this particular order also within the print invoice uh, there will be the details of the selected uh, cash and delivery method as well as uh, the amount for that so here we have the invoice and here you can see that payment method was marketplace cash and delivery payment method and uh, the uh, and the uh, cash and delivery charges were ten dollars as you can see here now let's come to the manage marketplace cash and delivery product so here you can make use of enable or disable for the uh, products uh, for which you have uh, uh, added as a cod so from the drop down we can enable or disable uh, these ca cash and delivery status for the uh, product so if i choose it as disable i can tap here in the submit and tap ok on the prompt and the two records will be updated and now they are disabled as you can see so uh, this was uh, about the uh, managed cash on delivery products we have went through the managed cash on delivery orders and the managed cash on delivery rates as well now let me show you how the vendor would be able to apply the cod on a product so for that we'll just go to my product list and uh, and let me remove this particular thing from here and from here we can edit any of the product or we can create a new product and add the cash and delivery to that so i'll go to the men's jeans for the time period and uh, we are on the marketplace edit product page so here we'll be scrolling down uh, to the section that says uh, uh, cash and delivery so here we have the option here or uh, attribute for that that's the cash and delivery so we can choose a yes for this and then tap here on the save button and uh, the cod would be then applied to this particular uh, product itself and uh, now if i want to see this thing uh, so i'll just go to the manage cash and delivery products so whichever products on which i have uh, enabled the cash and delivery they will be listed here so here we have uh, the uh, jeans uh, as well now uh, that was uh, basically the uh, vendors end and uh, now we'll be checking out the uh, initial configurations for this particular plugin so let me take you to the admin backend panel now so let's log into the admin backend panel by entering the username and password for my uh, magento 2 platform based multi vendor marketplace web store backend and uh, after login i'll have to make the initial configuration so we'll navigate to source and then configuration and on the configuration page on the left hand side we'll just go to sales and then we'll be going to payment methods and under the uh, payment methods we'll go to the cash and delivery one so here we are having the uh, marketplace cash and delivery payment method so let's see what different options are there so uh, to enable or disable this particular functionality you can choose a yes or a no for the uh, enable this payment method option then you have the payment method title so this is the title that is visible at the checkout time to the customers uh, then we have the cash and delivery amount title so as soon as the customers choose the payment method under the payment section uh, they'll see the uh, cash and delivery amount that needs to be paid for uh, receiving the order on COD you can set the minimum order total that should be achieved uh, for the uh, or webcool marketplace cash and delivery payment method to be enabled you can set up the maximum order total as well you can set up the cash and delivery description uh, that's the cod is available on this product this is uh, visible on the uh, product page uh, itself so if i show you that uh, let's go to the clothing and if i tap here on the check after entering the uh, zip code so it says it's not available at uh, the entered zip code so for the availability it says uh, cod available on this product then we have the payment from applicable countries you can choose all allowed countries or you can choose specific countries and you can multi-select uh, uh, specific countries that you want to use this particular cod functionality for then uh, you can set up the new order status uh, for the uh, cod orders and you can set up the sort order for this particular uh, payment uh, method uh, at the under the payment uh, method section for the checkout page so at that uh, page uh, you can sort the uh, uh, sort the status or uh, sort the where actually you want to set that uh, payment method at the top at the second at the third 
and so on so that's how we can set up the uh, initial configurations and just tap here on the save configuration button and we are done configuring the marketplace cash and delivery payment method from the admin backend panel now let's see how the admin can manage the uh, marketplace COD uh, delivery rate so for that he'll go to marketplace uh, uh, management and here he'll go to marketplace cash and delivery rates so here we have marketplace cash and delivery manager and here we have the marketplace cash and delivery rates and marketplace cash and delivery orders so we just go through each of them one by one so let's go to the uh, delivery rates first so uh, here you can see the cash and delivery rates details are visible here within this particular table and to add uh, the cash and delivery rates uh, there the admin can tap here on the add cash and delivery rates and from here he can download the csv file and uh, he can then um, after downloading the csv file he can choose it up and he can add the cash and delivery rates in bulk and uh, after entering these details you just need to tap here on the add cash and delivery rates and the delivery rates would be added there in bulk apart from that the admin can edit or uh, delete any of the created uh, uh, delivery rates so if i type here on the edit link under the actions column we'll be able to edit this particular one uh, that is specific so we have the range in specific so here the zip code type is specific so specific zip code type has been set and the rest of the details for the same let's go back now apart from this the admin can uh, bulk update the cash and delivery status for the products uh, by going to the marketplace uh, management and then uh, manage product so uh, let me open that up so from here the admin can manage the seller's product and uh, he can bulk update the cod status uh, for the product so for example if uh, we have this men's gene and uh, I'll, you can see here the cod status column says it's enabled so from the drop down we can uh, update the cod status as enable or disable for a single or in bulk there we can update the cod status for the seller products under the marketplace management and then manage product section so let's go back and uh, lastly let's see how the uh, marketplace admin can see the seller's cash and delivery report and uh, for that uh, the admin will navigate to marketplace management then manage seller and thereafter we'll have that list of particular uh, marketplace vendors so we can uh, click on one of the particular sellers there and uh, for example let's uh, go to uh, okay uh, let's go to let's let's uh, let's go to this one so I'll just tap here on this particular link and uh, and here uh, on this particular uh, section for the seller we'll have to navigate to uh, the section that's the uh, seller cash and delivery reports after tapping that up this brings us admin configuration uh, section for the co uh, commission and here we have the seller name the email the total commission uh, from the seller and uh, from here if uh, there's some amount uh, pending then the admin can notify the seller for the remaining commission payment by tapping this particular button that's not uh, available right now because uh, we have the total commission as a zero right now and uh, here uh, you can also see the orders placed using the seller cash and delivery payment method for this particular seller so all of the orders are visible here this is the order that we had placed the order number 575 having the COD charges as uh, $10 so we can uh, check the order details from here as well now that was about the marketplace cash and delivery marketplace cash on uh, delivery rates and orders and uh, this section uh, is the cash and delivery orders as we can see so here we have the uh, COD order that's 575 and uh, from here we can tap here on the order link as well and from here the admin can check the details of the order uh, for the uh, having the cash and delivery enabled on it so here's the webco marketplace cash and delivery payment method and 
here's our detail for the rest of the thing there and here we have the cash and delivery that was applicable on the order itself so uh, that was much about the plugin itself and I hope it helped you out in understanding the flow of this particular plugin uh, and uh, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest video updates from our end and apart from that please give it give this particular video a thumbs up if you like this video and uh, you can anytime reach back to us at support at the rate of webpool.com or you can raise it again at webpool.uvdesk.com or for a faster processing of your queries you can reach out to us at www.webcool.com forward slash contacts and lastly thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead